Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I did this sticker outline. And then I started looking at it. It's it's got the sharp points, and I know nothing about stickers, but you're going to be cutting this out, and I think it would maybe look better if you did it like this, where it uh, doesn't go in those little facets. So this is really kind of easy and kind of fun. Let's take our new one and let's just let's move this out of the way. So we've got it just like we had before. We're going to select it all and put, put a boundary around it. For some reason, he's got a color fill on his boundary tool, but then I'm going to left click, right click. Now here's what we want to do. We want to stop anything from coming into the center. So we're going to, let's zoom in here a little bit. Take our two point line and let's go from there to there. And I'm not going to take a lot of time to uh, try to get it perfectly matched, but as long as, as long as you go from node to node, and if you do your both sides equally, so it'll kind of look the same, and then we'll close off that little part of the S. Now at the bottom, we have some other parts and this bird isn't equal because it's touching here and not touching there. And then you just kind of, and I did a poor job of that one. That's why you would want to zoom in. And let's just back up here, take our two point line again and go from that node to that node. All I'm doing is stopping. So now what we need to do is stop it from coming up into these parts, but we need to leave these two little parts of color. So I'm just gonna take a two point line from there to there and from there to there. So now we've got them all sealed up. Let's create a rectangle, doesn't matter what size as long as it, and there he's got fill on that. Take our smart fill tool and fill it in. Cursor that over, left click, right click, go up to object and break the curve apart, and let's just delete the rectangle. Now let's take this and put it in red so we know what it looks like when we put it over to the bird. And I'm gonna just nudging over using just the arrow key. And now this cut line is right on top of the color. But you would probably want a little bit, we've still got the, the uh, contour uh, cut line uh, uh, selected. So we don't have to do anything, but we're gonna go the outside with rounded contours, 0 0.05 of an inch. Then you need to go to object and break the contour apart. It's gonna be really hard to get that inner contour. So just move the outer one out of the way and then move that other one out of the way. Then move your outer contour back in. I think this is a lot cleaner look. Uh, I know nothing about a sticker. He's making a sticker with it, but I think this is a little better than this. You know, just cause you got this part coming up and if it's a sticker and you want it more solid and it won't uh, peel up. So look at that sticker cut out versus that one. Let's get them side by side. You've got a lot more parts that to me could tear up where this is more solid. Let's just fill them in so you can really see what is going on. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.